Yo, hello there guys, I hope you're doing wonderfully well back on Baldur's Gate 3. We are in the Underdark, having come through secret ways down here and discovered a Minotaur with nothing upon his person. Uh, the crew, who do the hullabaloo, is now going to try to find the Night Song. Find the Night Song. The trailer goes cold in the Underdark. Where is the night song? But we are also in the Underdark, which is the direction we had to go in anyway. The Underdark is a twisted labyrinth of tunnels and ruins. To find a path to the Moonrise Towers, we'll need to explore. So here's the thing. There was another character who wanted to join our party before we continued down the Underdark. Um, so we're going to teleport, but because there's a convenient teleport point we've actually unlocked. Oh, Jesus, my buttons. So we're going to teleport back uh, to base and then switch out the dude house in, the druid. And then we can teleport back uh, to here. Here we go. We activated this a while ago. The Underdark, a Stellionite outpost. Okay, so this will work out great. So let's go back to base. Bibbly bam, back to camp. You're setting up a gimbal. Oh shit, nice. Hey Susanna, how you doing? Hey Kadudens. Excuse me, excuse me. Now we'll leave Fenrir alone because he's traveling. But I want you assholes to know that I fucking hate you. Last night, I was like, you guys were like, hey, check out this D&D &D book by um, Romeo Salvatore or whatever. And I was like, okay, yeah. Well, do you know what? I'm about to finish the Stormlight Archive. I've only got one book left in the Stormlight Archive. You know, the book series of five books. No one says anything. Last night, your boy Mikey... Oh, let's go grab that last book in the Stormlight Archive. Book five. The... The rules of... The truths of wind and warriors or something. Tappity tap. Can't find it on Amazon. That's weird. Tappity tap. Can't find it on naughty websites. That's weird. Wikipedia. The fifth and final book in the first half of the 10 book series is due to be released in 2024. You motherfuckers got me reading another fantasy book series, which is not yet complete. I hate you all. Yeah, so there's a massive time gap between book five and book six, apparently. But the way, the way I understand it is that the first five books still wrap up, if you know what I mean. The first five books contain a narrative and a story. Sanderson's usually so fast. So like, it's like a year ago when I started reading it, where you're just like, ah, I'll probably get it out in time. I just want you to know that I was really upset by that. Because you guys also got me reading The Way of the Wind by Patrick Rufus. And I'm already... I've already spent years of my life bitching about Game of Thrones. It uh, uh, just really upset me. At a butcher shop, you've got yourself some cow tongue and a load of Star Wars stuff. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Star Wars stuff and cow tongue at a butcher shop. Okay. He does release books in a timely manner and update. Okay. Is Patrick Rufus still alive? I heard he died and that the Patrick Rufus estate is pretending he's still there. They're answering all his emails. They're doing a weekend at Grandma's with his body so that his books still sell. If only you read as fast as you update Patreon. Uh, my Patreon, Kid Ludens, is up to date. Thank you very much with your snarky remarky. The bonus content hentai is still being currently worked on right now. Ah... Okay, uh, what are we, we, sorry, <laughs> we're supposed to be playing this game and I totally zoned out to moan. Uh, anyway, sorry if I'm moody, I've just woken up. Let's, number one, pet the dog. The dog pants through a ball held firmly in his mouth. <gasps> Ooh, let's do a strength wrestle. Chonkos will take this ball and be the one true owner. This 
foolish mortal dog. Chonkos, Lord of War, will take this. Do you ever guys... He relinquishes the ball. It is well chewed and slick with drool. What an amazing game. When you guys play tug of war with an animal, do you sometimes let the animal win? To like, you know, so that they enjoy it. When I used to play tug of war with a dog, I used to pretend that they were winning. <laughs> like loads and be like, oh, wow, you got it, you got it. Uh, in the Mikey Mega Mega anime, you think you've defeated the general Patreon updates. But he's going to return bigger and stronger in the next arc. Oh, it's Freezer and Trunks all over again. I came in with the old... -ching! Pet him. What happened to the ball? Give the ball back. Okay, is that ball in my inventory? I'm not going to steal the dog's ball. <laughs> Alright, one sec. Oh, where's he gone? No, come back! Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. God, the dog keeps moving, and you when you have your inventory screen up, you also have to line it up so that you can see. Wait, just, mate, stand still for two seconds. Give it to the dog, give it to the dog. How do I give the ball back? Put the ball on your quick bar. Is this it? Oh. Hey, boy. Ooh. <laughs> wrong throw, wrong throw, wrong throw. Now it won't even let me access the ball. Oh, there we go. Ah! 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 <laughs> Quick bar indeed. Don't let him give it back to me. Ah. Oh. Okay, guys. So, house in here is the druid that we're going to swap out for. Um, does anybody know the best character to swap him out? There's me, Chonkos, God of War. There's Gale, who has useful magic. Astarian is not useful in combat, but he's very useful on everything else. Sneaking and lockpicking. Astarian's like mechanically I should keep him. So it's between Gale and Shadowheart. Shadowheart has insight into the cult of Senule. Yeah, I'm going to switch out Gale because Gale is good with magic, but Shadowheart is a bit more thematically appropriate for this area. Uh, that being said... Where's his bed? Filthy and hail. What happened to Gale? Over dead guys there still. G Dog? How can I help? Stay here. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Gale's whack. Oh, you guys don't like Gale, huh? Good to know. He's expensive as well. Astarian's a better swap. And he's needy. Astarian's needy too. They're all on crack. They've all got their weaknesses. They're all human beings, except for Astarian, who's literally not a human being. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Okay, sweet. 
So let's go vibe house in. Hello, hello. Oak Father's blessings to you. You too. Uh, now. What about the secret stronghold of the Underdark? Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. Okay, and why do you want to go to the towers? Those illithid creatures threaten the natural <coughs> order. It's my duty to do what I can to stop them. There's also the Shadow Curse. It's an affront and must be cleansed. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thormund his Dark Justicius years ago. Oh, wow. But I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse just as you find a cure for your infection. Sweet. Uh... Uh... Do you know how to stop the shadow? We're going on. Well, we're going in the Underdark. I don't think we care about the Shadow Curse, do we? Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. Hmm. Okay. How do we stop the curse then? At the celebration, I hope I didn't come over too strong. I got caught up in a moment. Dude, let it lie. Don't bring it up. Don't bring it up. Perhaps. But we'll need to get closer before I can put my theory into practice. Put it from your mind for now. Once we near the curse... Eridan. Then there will be more to be said. I can't remember which character that is. Is Eridan one of the other witches? You seem like you feel responsible about that curse. Well... There's hardly anyone left to share the responsibility with. Few who witnessed the fall of Moonrise still draw breath. Gardens of the Moon. What Catherick Thorm unleashed is not something that nature can undo by itself. Oh, is he? I must do what I can. I've not completed the I Witcher 3. I've the Shadow Curse for years. But to truly got understand it and halfway? stop it, I must reach its source. I'm currently on uh, the Isles of Skelliger, having just had the big meeting with the king there. And uh, reunited with Triss. Uh, ew, ew, sorry. Uh, the one that I like. How are you faring into camp? <laughs> Wonderfully. If I'm honest, the grove was too comfortable for my tastes. I felt removed from nature. I'll miss my books. But I can find all the wisdom they contain out here firsthand. This guy's really positive. Uh, okay. Mate, why do I have to go through these dialogue options? I just want him to join my party. I'm sure something will come to me, given time. Okay, uh, how do you know so much about the parasite then? I studied one up close. Closer than most would he care completed to be breath to those things. A drow attacked me and I defended myself. Afterwards, I was able to examine the tadpole that emerged. Hideous, but fascinating. Like nothing else in nature, I'm glad to say. You're lucky I'm so tired this morning. How will the grove fare? I don't, I don't want to ask any of these questions. He wants to join me in the Underdark, and I want him to join me. It's had the whole region around Moonrise Towers in a chokehold of darkness and despair for years now. The Shadow Curse. Those who remained are Shadow Cursed. <clears throat> if you don't die at their hands, then you become one of them. Oh. We have to get to Moonrise. But the less time we spend in its blighted surrounds, the better. Hmm... Do I right-click him? Have I done something wrong? Talk, throw, examine. You wish to speak? Are you still faring well at camp? With such stimulating company? <laughs> Never better. Last time, he was like, scroll down. Start again, scroll down. 
You wish to speak? <gasps> oh, there's options at the bottom. I didn't realize there was extra bottoms. <laughs> extra bottoms. I didn't realize there's extra options at the bottom. <clears throat> I thought, sorry, I thought literally what you see is what you get. I thought there were five options. I didn't even realize I could leave the conversation. Okay. Uh, how would Hopefully, a grove fare without you? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. I sent a bird to summon her. He didn't join you either. So the thing is, is he offered to join me back when we were at the last place. I literally had an option. It was like, join me. And he was like, I'd love to. I just can't because your party's full. But now I don't even have the join me option. Francesca of the High Forest. Uh, I trust your judgment. I mean, I don't care. If only everyone said that. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. My favorite part of the game what so far <laughs> was when that lady got quantity. stabbed. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. One hopes. Sounds like the Grove is in good hands then. Indeed. Okay, that's wild. He uh, can't join my party, even though he could join my party previously. I can ask him if he's faring well at camp, but I can't vibe with him. I only have three people in my party, and he is not one of them. Hey. Okay, let's put um, Dickhead back. I mean, BFF Gale. Did you score any yet? Uh, any what types there? Drugs? Can't get over, he made Tiny Kratos, it's glorious. He's a wonderful warrior. Thank you very much for noticing. Join me, why don't you? With pleasure. Lead on. Okay, now does he have a dialogue option? You wish to speak? Hmm. I'm just going to hit through a bit more dialogue. What about the secret strongholds? Precious little. But I'm quite certain it can still be found. What about surrendering your title as a druid? Miss it? <laughs> oh dear, no. It's a terrible burden. Takes you away from nature and forces you to deal with others' problems and personalities. Mm. Be wary of anyone who actually wants such a role, I say. Likely they don't understand it, or they have ill intent. I'm just glad to be out here amidst Vice. the father's creations. Right. Oh, that's a good point, dude. <clears throat> yeah. Well, it's it's clearly not here. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I don't know why I keep doing that. Yeah, it's clearly not happening. So that's a great shout. So, um, I don't even need a good night's sleep, do I? Everybody's... Healthy and hail. Um, so with that in mind, let's go back out to... The Underdark. Bed. Now, these are explosive barrels. I have, in my mixed group inventory, a wine barrel to do a napalm combo. I might just have, like, he's got a water barrel because he can electrify water. Explosive oil. Explosive oil. The only one who doesn't have an oil barrel is me. No, I think two's good. I think two's a good amount for an emergency. Oh, this Minotaur is no longer on fire. Fascinating. So guys, welcome to the Underdark. Thanks for bearing with whilst we did a little bit of checking and throwing. I just vaguely remembered, like, it was important for us to have him join our party. <clears throat> Sounds like any job. Yeah, Tim, absolutely. Any customer-facing work. Any work where you have to deal and communicate with someone else. A Viridian Crystal. Ooh, we can get salt. Looks empty. 
Um, so I guess we're just going to start wandering around and exploring, huh? Are there usually so many explosive barrels in the Underdark? What the Does it usually yeah. rumble so much? This place is ready to collapse. These fungal spores are everywhere. Oh. Oh, do I want to avoid those spores, maybe? Oh, they are everywhere. Oh, wait, can I... Okay, do I want to blow up the air surrounding the spores? Is that why there's so many barrels? More are coming. Who? What in the hells are you? Still your mind to this unusual voice. Yeah, still your mind. You can listen all you want, but it can get the hells out of my head. They're coming. You're coming. Hmm, okay. Now, I'm gonna go... Oh, wait, is there a gap? No, there's no gap. How much farther can I go? Do, 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 do. Let's all get back a bit. Let's get back a bit further. Hey, where are my flaming arrows? Yeah. Oh! Hmm, no. That has not affected the spores, but it has stopped me from being able to walk through this area without taking burning damage. So 50-50. Oh no, there we go. So I just have to take the hit. So the spores... Tim asks, known to cause confusion, best not get too close. So the spores cause confusion, but also the method by which something was communicating with me? The fuck? Oh, was he talking about that thing? Don't get near the the blue plates. Wait, what? You've entered turn-based mode. The game has paused around you and time is broken down into rounds. What? Oh, oh, there's something coming out of the ground. All right, I would like to use my turn to GTFO. This should work. <laughs> All right. So in the heat of a tiny moment, something weird is happening. <laughs> I'd also like you to leave. Chonky. Okay, so Chonky takes damage. Whatever it was. Oh, it's this. So now I'm in combat with it. Still on my feet. I wonder if this is worth the cost. So I'm in combat with this whilst everybody else has jumped back into the spores of confusion. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. I like your little swimming trunks. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, the, yeah. his voice is... They don't have, like, a gruff voice actor option. Bottom right, exit if you want. Uh, oh, hey, we might flee. What's this? Bullet Predator of the Dark. Yeah, should we just fuck off? I'm not here for 15 minutes of combat against one creature. Oh, wait, I can't flee. Uh, okay, tits. Yeah. 
rage mode. Which is one that does bleeding? Lacerate bleeding chop. Another day, another day. He has high defense. These boots have seen everything. Great, I made them go all the way out. So it's going to take 15 minutes to bring them all the way back. Love it. Quickly. Uh, I'd love to do vampiric bites. Can I do... Range sneak? No, I don't have advantage, huh? I want a cheeky acid arrow. Go on. Leaping covers more distance and uses less distance. Leap first, then run. Oh. Leap first. Damien Hurst. You got to move. Leap for fun, stop, then run. Guiding boots. Uh, armor up. Creator, destroyer. Now flank. Now smart. Uh, dun, 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 shatter. Oh! Misty step. Surrounded by a silver mist, you teleport to an unoccupied space that you can see. Fuck yeah. Let's pin this boy from two directions. This Irvin Salamander. I'm not emotionally or mentally ready to be engaged in such combat. My brain is just like, yeah, yeah, let's just chill out. Let's just chill out. The little plus and minus symbols on the left of your end turn button. Decrease and increase your bar size. Aye. 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 Uh, 8 to 19 reckless damage. <laughs> oh, I should have maybe spoken to it. Actually, no, he came out of nowhere and auto entered combat. Uh. Shall I eat a potion just so that I have poison on my thing? Yes! Poison axe achieved. What an amazing game. <clears throat> uh, yeah, what's going on? End turn. Tronkos got a war. Yeah, why is it making me confirm? Oh, is it because I've got loads of movement options still available? I've never seen that. Tronkos, end turn. End turn, Tronkos. It is not this character's turn. Oh. So wait, so wait, I'm in the wrong character? Okay. I mean, that was a bit weird, but whatever. Okay, can I get a sneak in from this angle? Piercing strike for some bleed. Offhand follow-up. Oh, no, no, no. Bite, 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 bite. I want to see what happens. Mm. I mean, his HP was fine, but I was curious. Okay, so again, even though I've just been on Astarian and I've just clicked on end turn, it's now telling me it's not this character's turn. Yeah, I know it's not this character's turn. That's why, that's what end turn does. 
I am a Starian. Time to kill. And a Starian is still is still his turn. Look, I've still got movement. And I wish to end the Starian's turn. Where's this extra if I press something? Tab? Caps? Shift? Control? Oh. So, end, end turn, but I want to end Astorian's turn. <clears throat> if you want someone else to go, then you have to do... Yeah, but like, normally, normally it just follow. literally it just goes this one, then this one, then this one. Can't afford to let up. So, I have to manually go to her without ending his turn? I, I just don't actually understand what's going on there. Okay, anyway, I mean, no biggie. Look, what am I bitching about? So... Uh, invoke duplicity. Distract your enemy with illusions. I mean, the illusion stuff's just really, really good, right? Shield of Faith. Guiding bolts, radiant damage. Oh, he's only got three HP left. I'll just stab him. You don't have enough movement to stab him. How about you walk there and then stab him then? Wait, I don't have enough resources? I don't have enough resources to stab him. All I did was move. All right, what about if I end her turn? You click the floor. <laughs> Kids. Shoot him with your crossbow. Uh, that was a weirdest combat. I have no idea what the hell was happening in that game. That was such a weird combat mechanic thing. Uh, do, do, do. One sec. Let me reset my uh, stream thing. I, it's, it's behaving weird again. God damn it, yeah, it wants to play an advert in like four minutes. I'm trying to get this thing to behave. Let me just snooze the ads. Oh, your adverts get snoozed for five minutes, that's it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have you hit G? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, so does G basically mean that the entire party has one singular go all together as a party and that you run through every character movement in any order you want until they've all run out of their primary and secondary group as a group versus individual combat in order where they take turns. That boulette had a blood guzzler garb with grievous retribution. When an enemy damages a wearer, the wearer gains wrath. Oh, I'll just give it to Gail. I don't know what it does. Okay, well, that used up a load of my combat stuff. With haste. Swarming toadstools. Uh, so am I just going to... Should we do a little leap? Where? I don't know where we're going, man. I'm just adventuring. Timusk. The spores confuse the senses. I'm not sure what the other mushrooms are. So these are Timisk, these have spores. These are torch stalks. Should we shoot one? Cool. I think the Underdark might really suck. Regroup. <laughs> you ran off about your mates. Good shot. <laughs> Tim Ask and Torch Storks. Hell of a combination. Get confused by one, blown up by the other. Okay, I really don't want to explore anymore. What the fuck is that? I really don't want to explore any more than I have to. I don't, 
I don't like it. Like, it's really colourful, but I immediately don't like it here. Where have I got to go? Where? We're just going to keep going, huh? Dead Duralgar? Gold arsonist's oil. Hmm. A myconid. Corpses. These creatures do battle with Dwergar. Oh, I failed a nature check. I don't know what nightlight is. Cheeky bow. So drows are underground elves, and Draugar are underground dwarves? Mashu people. Oh, they're friendly. Do you know what? I do assume combat all the time. I'm so conditioned. This is like... <clears throat> this is really weird. I, I am so conditioned by every other video game I've ever played. But if you see another character on screen that's not your party in a game which has combat, then you're supposed to fight them because they're the enemies. Like a game which has like all these conversation dialogues. <laughs> it's too much Final Fantasy 16. I'm just like, okay, Breath of the Phoenix, let's go. I've heard they're fun guys. Get out. How dare you? That is some low hanging fungus. Restless Myconid. Was swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. Hey, that's cool. Sovereign, he has come. He is here. The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others. Brassy and commanding. I am Sovereign. You see a vision, your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The Sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. <clears throat> Focus on your parasite and connect to the Sovereign. Tell the truth of the parasite, you only seek safe passage. Seek understanding? I am a traveler seeking adventure. I'll start with the truth, really. Fungal roots weave through your mind, seeking your true intent. Then the Sovereign drones a new melody, cautious but welcoming. Oh. I can mend neither skin nor spirit, but we still might commune. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The Sovereign expects you. Yo, okay. Spore servants. The Eben Lake Grotto. Ah. I coded. My dreams are realized. Oh, is this? Wait, which one were you shagging? <laughs> which one were you? Can't quite remember how it went. Uh, Spore Servant. Hello, sir. So he's a dwarf that's been fungled. So these are basically, it's basically The Last of Us, but more communicative. Mossy Myconis. and mold glaze the grotesque creature's face and body. A voice drifts into your mind as you gaze upon the misshapen servant. Leave this one. Come to me. We must speak. Mm. So they're all connected on a mycelial network. Got it. Uh, where's their blood there?
Oh wow, keeps going, huh? Am I going in the right direction? I feel like that water would really just rush me out of here if I'm not careful. Oh, you can just walk through it. Never mind. So where's the heart of the spore? Oh, is this it? <coughs> A sovereign glut. Hook horror spore serpent. Flesh walker. Tongue talker. Far you've come. Oh, you guys are going to get hit with uh, an advert. I'm trying to snooze them. Memory. Me of home. Okay, I'm trying to just push, use, using up all my snoozes to push back an advert to line up with the gaming. Okay, tell me of home. Baldurian or Gold Dwarf recall the shadowed grottos and winding tunnels. I think they might enjoy tunnels and grottos more. It reveals its own home in reply. A humid cove filled with decaying myconid corpses. Oh, I'm sorry. destroyed my people. I am a sovereign with no circle. I do not belong here. I am not welcomed here. Oh, he's not linked. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. But Cora Spore Serpent? Hey! Seek me. Seek the Sovereign. Okay. That's interesting. Restless Myconids. They're just husks. I couldn't care less if they're slaves or building material. And where? Hello, there's a dude over here. Is that a trader? Excuse me. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. No, sorry. Show me your wares. Ooh, many shinies. Amulet of Restoration. A corrosive flail. Herbalist gloves. Bonus armors. I don't know if I want any of this right now. I'm a bit overwhelmed by this brand new area. I don't really know what I want to get stuck into. I love the different body shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of gorgeous. They're all different corpses of other creatures, but they've been repurposed and networked into the spores. Enchanted crossbow. Mud Mephit Wings. Uh, let's hold... Actually, do you know what? I might just give her all my skulls and junk. One sec. Oh, I want that. That causes bleeding. Never sell the dog ball. Sorry about this, just, just give me a minute. Oh, a flute! <clears throat> I'll just give that to someone. Oh my god, how many great taxes do I have? Can I, like, multi-tap some of these? God, we killed so many goblins. Wow, 
Wow, we... I slayed... Well, I forgot. I forgot how much we murdered people. <clears throat> Balin. Balin, son of Durin. I'll do for now. I will take your gold. Sweet. Balin, where are you? Okay, so we're looking for the actual, the main one. I've got a long road ahead. The sovereign. That is a wicker basket. Uh, guys, I've, uh, okay, let's, last snooze. I, I swear that the ad break timer in Twitch does not accurately follow the normal flow of time. I have a timer on my computer because I time these recordings <clears throat> to be about an hour long each. So I have a measuring stick against the timer that decides how long it is until an advert runs on Twitch. And I do not believe them to be the same thing. Uh, many a noxious myconid. Oh, hello, guys. They accomplish. Blurg. Hello, Blurg. Ah, a visitor. You're a welcome sight. But let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull. The spores connecting mind to mind. Bill, <laughs> proud member of the Society of Brilliance, at your service. Oh. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. I've never heard of the Society of Brilliance. Who is a hobgoblin? Do you have anything to trade? I do enjoy a good bargain. If anything in my private collection is to your liking. Sylvian stones. Loads of money. Speak dead, invisibility, gusty wind. Careful. Lifebringer. The temporary hit points disappear if the wearer runs out of lightning. When the wearer gains lightning charges, they gain hit points. Could I combine that with Gale and his lightning boots? Sunwalker's gift. See in the dark. Cinder shoes. Whenever you burn an enemy, you gain heat. I don't even know what that means. Gas, magic missiles, blast circle to blasting. <clears throat> this gives you the ability to cast Scorching Ray. Scorching Ray looks pretty cool. I haven't learned that one yet. But I'll get there eventually when we level up the wizard. Very well. I have mushrooms to catalogue. Probably like how an hour of TV is mm. closer to 42 minutes plus adverts. Could sustain an entire village if seeded properly. It's like when you watch Friends on the original release, and then you watch like Friends when it was broadcast, and the Friends that gets broadcast, like the copies that are saved to YouTube and stuff, they've all been slightly sped up. They're all 95% sped up because it means you can fit in like an extra 20 seconds of advert per episode. I fucking hate that shit. Although, to be fair, people watch YouTube videos now at, like, twice the speed, right? I love this colony, but I don't really... Should I go down here? Because the name of this colony is here, I feel like maybe I should go more up here. Oh, wait! Okay, Balin the Mushroom Picker's over there. Not really bothered. So that's a dead end. This is just the Underdark. I'm trying to find the Sovereign just so I can talk to them. Let's go further up. Let's go towards Balin, I guess. I'll go back over and up. I guess we're not done over here. Oh, is it in here? I reckon it might be in 
might be enough to cover rent. What? Oh, did one of those assholes blow up? Fucking game. Okay, I can't get through there. There's a dead myconid. Okay, guys. Well, we're going to find the Sovereign, right? So no problem about that. We're at 50 minutes long for an episode. So I'm going to end it here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube. Just because whilst we're live on Twitch, my adverts lining up is a bit of a bugger. So I'll see you for the next episode. Click like, click subscribe, join us live. Peace.